I thought today would be the perfect time to invite my favourite American onto the show. Unfortunately, Cindy Crawford isn't much of a cook, so I asked Mama Cherry to come instead. Sorry, Mama. It's OK. I was just having... You know okay. me, I, I love know a little wind-up. That's all right. Mm. Yes. So I'd imagine that barbecues are pretty big. They are July very the big. They're just huge. Okay. okay. So and the 4th of do? July is when you go outside and you do your thing. You do it always outside? Pretty much, yeah. Mm. But what I'm going to do for you today is I'm going to make a homemade barbecue sauce, okay. okay? So let me point out the ingredients to you first, okay? okay? I'll come around and give you yeah, a hand. You come around? Yeah. Okay. So in my homemade sauce, and most of these ingredients you can find yeah. in your cupboard, in your fridge, you've got them. So we start with some onion, yep. red, green, and yellow peppers. I presume you could just use one you color. You could use one yeah. color, okay. but I mean, it just makes it richer as far as yeah. I'm concerned. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, and then moving over here, tin tomatoes. Yeah. I'm using a smoked paprika, mm -hmm. all right? A whole fresh orange, which has been chopped up. Yep. I'm gonna use a little bit of the zest in yeah. there. Tin pineapples, some Cajun seasoning, and some corn flour, mm. you know, just to kind of bulk it all up, mm. and the key ingredient is brown sugar. First thing to do is you get your chicken. We're using wings. Now, some people prefer the tips on, some people prefer them off. I like a little nibble. I like a little nibble of the wing myself of yeah. the tip, but here's a trick that I've learned. If you take your chicken, have okay, it facing you this way, and take the tip and just stretch it behind, and you tuck it away. It's like uh, chicken yoga. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, kind of fine. bend it around. Yeah, bending it around. All right, and these ones are without. Okay, once I've done that, I just take a little bit of black pepper, a little mm. bit of salt, and then no added oil, because what we're doing is we're trying to be healthy here, mm -hmm. and the chicken, the skin has oil in it. So we're gonna throw it straight into the pan, okay. which I've done here. You've done okay? that already. I've put them in the griddle pan on mm -hmm. the top of the stove, just to get some brown, you know, to get some kind of color to it, yeah. and to start it off cooking. And now I'm gonna move on to, let me get my hands clean Your pan's there. very hot there. I think I'll yeah, turn it down it a little is, bit, It is hot, I? you can turn it down yeah. now, because okay, I'm gonna, can share that? Now, so, let's get started. Let's if I can have started. my onions. Onions coming over. Okay, thank you. All the peppers. Straight in. And the peppers. Lovely. Oh, nice sizzle. Green, yellow, and red. Looks a bit like a flag. <laughs> okay. okay. Shall I put the chicken in the oven for yeah, you? Yeah, No, no, no. We're going to actually... Wait up. Hold up. Yes, let's get that one going. Okay. Yeah, let's get that one going. Okay. So, we're going to stir those together. Mm -hmm. And this is a really simple dish. Like I say, it's everything into the pot. Cook it all up. Now, I like to add the paprika at this stage. Okay. So now, it kind I of... put those chicken wings in on a, a, skit and a frying pan. Obviously, mm -hmm. it's got a handle, which we know that the oven can take. But yes. you could obviously use you could just, a roasting yeah, tray if you A roasting wanted tray, to. or even better, take it outside and put it on a grill. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. On the barbie. There we go. That's the Cajun seasoning yep. going in. Gonna add my orange. Lovely, lovely combination of flavors here. I tell okay, you. and the pineapple juice mm -hmm. and the pineapples straight in. That's kind of like the pineapple I like because it's it's like a taste of Hawaii. Yeah. You know, we've got 50 states. I like to celebrate them all. Have you got 50? I thought you had 51. No, we've got 50 states. Have you? When do we get 51? I'm, I was always bad at counting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, it was England. That's right. I knew there was something. Oh, England. England's, England's got 51. Oh, you, yeah, you're right. You are our, fifth, you are our 51st exactly. state. I'm going to add some brown sugar there. There you go. Okay. Brown sugar goes in. In. And now, last but not least, well, not last, but we're going to put the tomatoes. Shall I grate a bit of orange? And can you grate a little bit of the orange zest? Lovely. Wait a minute, let me get this in first. Okay, a little bit of malt vinegar. And the Worcester sauce. And some Worcester sauce to give it a little bit of a kick. And a bit of a grating. A little bit of grating to get that zest going. Lovely. And, and try and use organic oranges or... Un yeah. You can't find unwaxed ones. It's hard much. to find them. Yeah. Um, can you give me the... Um, well, uh, corn flour. Yep, the corn, corn flour, flour, please, because that's You don't mix that with water? You can, but you don't have to, because okay. this whole thing, it's all about... All juicy. Absolutely. It's going to reduce, all right? So yep. I'm going to stir that in together. Now, this okay. really needs to cook for a minimum of 20 minutes to a half an hour, because you want to reduce it down, mm -hmm. and then you're going to blitz it. So while I'm doing well, this... Well, that's cooking. That's my, yeah, that's my that's bowl. Yours. Stop How about it. if you make some potato you salad for us? You just tried to nick my bowl off me. No, I tell no, you no, I was going to bring it over to you. Hey, whose show is this? <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm going to make a lovely potato salad. What I've got in here, I've just got some new potatoes, or you could use uh, earthy sort of Maris Pipers or King Edwards if you want, just diced up. The trick is to make this while the potato salad's warm. I'm not going right. to serve it warm, okay. but by having it warm, all the flavours go into the spuds. Okay, and especially if they're, if they're the earthy ones, mm -hmm. they go into the potato as well. Now, what I've got here, I've got some 
uh, mayonnaise, some creme fraiche or yogurt or whatever. I've got a little Dijon mustard. I've got some spring onions, some chopped gherkins. Okay, you know, those sweet or sour? I like the sour ones, but okay. it's entirely up to you. And then I finish off with a little bit of crispy bacon that I pre-cooked already until it's nice and crispy. Great. So very simple dressing. But the test is, or the key is really, is actually when you have the potatoes hot because okay. you'll notice a huge amount of difference there. Now, can you use any kind of potato? Uh, well, yeah, I've got new salad potatoes here. Okay. Really nice British ones around at the moment. Good. Um, but you can use earthy Mary's Pipers or King Edward's or Desiree, one of those sorts. And there's lots of more and more potatoes being developed in this country, which is fantastic. In go the spring onions. There, like that. And in go the gherkins. So the gherkins give a lovely little crunch. Now I'm going to chop up some of the bacon as well. So okay, what are you doing? We I'm get... just going to check on my wings. You're going to check on your on. wings? Oh, listen to that nice crunch. How are they? Oh, they're going great. They're going good. Okay, now I'm going to put half that in to the, into the dressing, and then half I'm going to sprinkle over the top. Now, I'm going to put my spuds in, because I could put the spuds straight in there, but I only want enough dressing just to coat the potatoes. Uh -huh. And I think I'm going to use all of it, so that was a pretty useless exercise. But uh, <laughs> it was just saying, I always say with people, add the, sa the dressing to the salad, not the salad to the to dressing. The dressing yeah. So you don't drown it. Mm -hmm. Okay, a little mix there. And that is really nice. Those potatoes are nice and warm. They can, you could serve them straight away, mm -hmm. but ideally just leave them to get to room temperature. And then you want to carry on with your, okay. your now, little Okay, now what I've done there. here is, if you can imagine, this is, let's, let's pretend, mm -hmm. this has been cooking for 20 or more minutes. Then you get your hand blender or you can use a food processor and you want to blitz it all together, okay? So okay. it's a bit like this, so it's quite runny. The longer you cook this, the better, because it reduces down. It gets and nice all, and sweet It gets and really sticky. sweet and sticky. So then I'm going to do, I've just taken it, putting it on top, and it goes back in the oven, because okay. you've got to make sure your chicken is cooked properly. All right, Lovely. and we're going to stick it on the grill, and let's get these ones out. Out there, great. And these are ones that obviously we've... The we plate's under the counter okay, there. Okay, let me get the plate. These are ones that I cooked a little bit earlier mm. because I wanted it to, um, you know, crisp up. Absolutely. And... Should we get so, the tongs? So let's get the tongs. I know you've got very asbestos I've fingers, got asbestos but fingers. I, I haven't. Oh, there. <laughs> They always say, hold your ear when you burn yourself. Oh, Do you really? know that? Your I've earlobe. never heard that one. Apparently, it hurts so much your earlobe, you don't notice the burn on the fingers. Oh, really? Yeah. I'll, I... I'll do it. Okay, I'll, I'll get it there. All right. I was just trying to be brave. I know you were. Here we go. <laughs> Let Mama do it. Okay, possibly best to oil the oh, bottom of the nice. dish, it's do you think? pulling apart. Sorry? You can maybe well, no, oil well, a little no, bit no, of well, the dish. No, what I would have done is put a rack on it. Oh, okay. Because if you put a rack, then the juice is drained down. And uh, here we go. There we have Mama's chicken wings with my delicious potato oh, salad. Good.